DeBolt sets left. Robo with the drive. Freshman Jenna Robo kills it. And now Michigan State will have match point at least two times. Spartans serving. And that's it. The Spartans are going to the national semifinals. One of the great things about this team is that we were on the same page together. We wanted the same things for each other, not in spite of each other, no jealousies. It was about the team and the team was first. And that's what made this such a special group of young women. It's an honor to have you back here. We really wanted to do something special to bring everybody back because you started the program um, forward in, in a national highlighted way. We, um, the national recognition started and it was continued on and, uh, and Michigan State has been um, dominant in volleyball ever since and it's, it's got a name and, and the Big Ten is so strong and you had a battle in there. And the team went to University of Hawaii and it was kind of like David and Goliath. I mean, we were uh, walked into the University of Hawaii and we walked into their facility, I think where basketball is played, but volleyball had traditionally sold out. So when we were sent uh, to Hawaii, you know, everybody that night decided to kind of turn off their uh, TVs because they didn't think we had a chance. And that I think that speaks to the incredible uh, competitive uh, determination that this team had along with uh, the coaching staff and the detail to coaching and preparing these student athletes uh, to working their way up through the final four. We were down a couple couple games I think and then um, all of a sudden the team, I don't know what you did team, but you just started to come back and you're like we're, they're not going to take us and it was just a joy to watch in person. And when I coach these girls that I'm training and when I'm coaching teams, I think about all of you and everything we did together and everything we endured and all the tears and the fights and the crying and the joy. And you guys are just, uh, again, up early, running the hill with Steve Morgan at 6 a.m. in the summer. You know, when, when we were all like, Steve, Steve, there's like bugs, there's bugs everywhere. And he's like, just run with your mouth open, it's breakfast. You know? Extra protein, right? Yeah, and so I mean, like all of that stuff. And I do, I like, I just I have to, this is my one moment to have you all in the room at a place where you need to know how special you guys are to me. And um, I know I probably wasn't your favorite during the playing years all the time. I was probably the one who had to drill sergeant most of the time, but um, I love you guys. And the only reason I did that is because I love you and I knew what we were capable of doing and we did a lot and it was really awesome and special. It's amazing what our staff did, and Laura and Chuck don't even get me started. I just love you two. It was the hardest thing that I've ever done, coming here from California by myself. And you guys, I can't tell you how many life lessons I have taken and what a stronger person I am because of what you guys did for us. Steve, you said it the best. Ladies, Japan, the hill, you told us you're gonna run up this hill and you're doing this last one together and we were, we were exhausted, there was no way. Like I physically did not know emotionally, mentally, anything that I could be that exhausted. And he looked at us and he said, you will run this together because you will win together, you will lose together, but you will be together. And we started running and I have no idea how we made it up, but every girl, I remember looking over and just being like, we've got this. We've got, I can't feel my body right now, but we've got this. The life lessons that Michigan State has given us after 19, I'm sorry, 20 years, I'm an activities director at Downey High School in uh, Southern California. I will still use the messages and the training that I got from Michigan State and I will always. Um, I can't believe that I'm here with my family because these girls and my coaching staff were my family here. <laughs> and um, 20 years, we look the same, we look great. <laughs> it doesn't seem that it went by. Um, I'm honored to be here, thank you for what you do. Uh, we all have the same connection, we're Spartans.
I said to them, if you want to be anything other than what you are, you have to recruit the players that will take your place. But you will always know that you are a part of the legacy of changing the direction of Michigan State Volleyball. These young women recruited the players that you have listened to. They embraced that philosophy. They lived it. They made it happen. They made it work. This program is indebted to these young women and the sacrifices that they made for the good of the program forever. Because if it had not been for them, the history that is now here for over 20 years would not be here at all. So I applaud all of you.